Let's get final thoughts with our guest host for this hour, PK Basu from Maybank, Kim Eng. Um, just while we're talking about India, PK, uh, what is your investment strategy when it comes to what's going on there? Because there was a lot of hope that we might see uh, reforms getting kicked up in a much more rapid way, but it seems like uh, that hasn't really happened and there's a little bit more disappointment filtering in. Well, actually, the last two months have been very good for economic reform in India. There's been uh, uh, a whole slew of reforms that have, uh, uh, have actually been, uh, been implemented. Uh, there are a few uh, additional items uh, that were announced but that need legislative approval, uh, and that includes things like pension and insurance sector reform. Uh, those will require parliamentary approval, and, of course, the parliamentary session that began uh, last Friday uh, is going to be a fairly stormy one. Uh, also, I think there's a little bit of disappointment over the fact that India has made uh, very little progress on disinvestment of the government stakes in, in companies. But again, on that front, uh, there was action last week. Uh, the first, uh, I, first disinvestment um, uh, of the year actually did occur, uh, and it, it appears that the cabinet is now set to come up with several more uh, in the next few weeks. That, I think, is really quite crucial to India's uh, fiscal outlook, um, and uh, that coupled with uh, a bout of additional reform would be a great help. Uh, but I do think that this parliamentary session uh, is going to be quite crucial for the government, and it could well fall. The government could well fall towards the end of the parliamentary session, uh, early January, uh, primarily because the, there is a coalition of forces uh, that um, uh, would like to call an early general election, primarily because uh, there are several regional parties that would prefer an election to be held early rather than 18 months from now. Which then may halt the reform process once again, PK. Is this not, not, not right? Well, actually what is interesting is that um, uh, the, the parties that appear likely to pull the plug on the government, at least one of them, the party that rules the state of Uttar Pradesh, uh, does appear um, on board with some of the key reform steps. So. Uh, they will probably allow the reform steps to go ahead, but find other reasons, including corruption issues, uh, to pull the plug on the government. Uh, any new government that comes in, I think, is likely to be much more reformist. Uh, what we have in India is uh, state governments that are uh, undertaking quite significant economic reform and uh, generating good growth. So it's the central government that has uh, really been asleep at the wheel until two months ago. Uh, the state governments, most of them, more than half the state governments, are doing quite well. So if there's a coalition of those state governments at the center, then I think we could get uh, a new dose of economic reform post-election. Do you buy into the market on the back of these expectations, or is it just too early? Well, of course, the market's done rather well over the past four or five months. Uh, I think at current levels, the market is, uh, is broadly at fair value or marginally below it. Uh, I wouldn't be aggressively buying into the market at these levels. Um, uh, but I, but uh, you know, I'd essentially uh, be a holder rather than a seller. Um, PK, overall in your broader investment strategy, um, where is your top plays at the moment? Given that so many in the market are telling us that volatility is on the rise and, and will continue to rise at least until the fiscal cliff is uh, well, hopefully sorted out and we have a little bit more stability in the eurozone. Well, I think the fiscal cliff does look as if it's likely to be sorted out, uh, at least in terms of uh, overcoming the immediate uh, pressure for 2013. Uh, whether the U.S. will come up with a long-term strategy to deal with it uh, over the next 10 years uh, is still a bit up in the air. But as long as the fiscal cliff is dealt with, uh, I think um, volatility will, in fact, uh, be reduced. Uh, I think uh, risk appetite will improve. Uh, and so... Uh, within Asia, I think the, in the short term, uh, I would be at least moderately overweight in China uh, and in some of the other um, uh, growth, uh, growth markets in Asia, the, the ones that would benefit from uh, an industrial recovery led by the U.S. And uh, that would uh, include uh, most of Southeast Asia. Mm. Uh, okay. All right, PK, we're out of time. It's been great to have you with us as our guest host.